Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming along to today's press conference. Of course, um, this Saturday we've got, sorry, this Friday we've got our big show at the Kingsway Sports Centre in Witness. Uh, top by Nathan Cleverley and Douglas or TNO for the Commonwealth Fight Heavyweight Championship. Uh, but on the undercard we've got um, some of the best young prospects in the country, obviously from Liverpool, that uh, lined up on this table. Um, but one of the highlights is that we've got three brothers um, for the first time, uh, three Liverpool brothers boxing on, the, on a professional show, um, which we're, we're, is a bit of an obviously and uh, we're excited about. So all three lads are here. Um, as you'll meet on the right, we've got um, Liam Smith to my right, um, Paul Smith to my left, um, Stephen Smith and the honorary Smith, <laughs> Tony Ballou. Um, starting off with the Smiths first, uh, Actually, Frank Warren signed all, all three lads up um, to big deals with us, and uh, we're looking to push these, push these guys for the next uh, few years towards titles and then beyond. So we're really excited by them. They've all got great action styles. Um, uh, they're attracted to TV, so um, they get, get big viewerships with them, and we're really excited by them. Um, I think it's the first time, obviously, you get, you've got boxers like uh, the Hatters and the Minters, um, I'm from Liverpool, we have the Wentons, uh, there's three of them there at the bottom of the show, so uh, this is the first time of three, three of the pros have got from the professional show. Um, uh, so, so looking for them to be producing big performances on the night, and uh, we'll come out with them just to keep them all on. Uh, first of all, I'll open, open the table up, and give that voice a few questions there, I'll answer a few questions first, and then I'll sign up with Liam. Looking forward to this, it's the first time. Box with Paul, box on St. Joe Stephen, so can't wait to box on the card Paul. Have you ever boxed on Paul's in the card no, in the amateur days even? No, I've never boxed with Paul. Box with Stephen, I've boxed with Colin, I've never boxed with Paul. So, look for That's all so nice to have. We've got fourth Smith that we're going to join in prime rank soon. And then Calvin at the back, so, so I'll make them Just looking down the building, she hasn't got an opponent for Tony Bell, yeah. Can't we just get Calvin there? Yeah, it's bigger now. Yeah, he's heavier than me these days, so you know, staying away from me, he's the one of the talented ones out of the three of them. I didn't actually know that was the first time, this will be the first time I'm boxing the same bill as Liam. Um, I know I box with Steve and I think I box with Callum as well, so that's a fair that's a fair for me. Like well it'll be good when, when the three of us are all on it all all in him how Callum's gonna take it with his name, like I said the other day in another interview, but I think it'll be exciting, it'll be a good night, it'll be you know, it'll be it's good to be more or less back home because it's only five or ten minutes away and as just as Liam said, you know, I'm really looking forward to. It's a bit of a frustrating fight for you, Paul, obviously you're well in championship class now, I would say that. A six round, a bit of a mark and time fight for things to sort out. A bit of frustration on your part, or yeah, yeah, and no. Um, I had a, I had a bad break to me in the last fight, so I just and I needed you know the six round, eight round too easy, and I'm like I don't like the eight rounds, but you know it's just six rounds, just get out of the way and get back in the ring in February. I think I'll be, you know, I think I'll be fine. Right when the time events don't be lost kind of bad, so you know as long as I'm busy and keeping active, then it doesn't really matter. I just want to ease, ease me out back into it and see how it goes. That's the fight that you had when you want still, you still want to get back in. Yeah, still, I still want to get in. I don't really care about the title, even if it's a non-title fight, just as long as, as you're fighting, you know, I'm not, I'm not really bothered about the title. And the other titles in the middleweight division of times up until probably, you know, July. So I just want to keep active, keep busy and fight the winner, whoever wins out of, out of all of them. Kieran Healy as well from Ireland, he was over in Liverpool earlier this year. Yeah, he boxed Matty Wall, who's on the bill. He's been all, he boxed Matty Wall, he boxed, um, boxed Jamie Moore in Ireland. And he's, you know, he's tough, he's, he's only really a light middle winter thing, but he's just you know, he's an ideal opponent, maybe to these, to these back into it, I think, you know, not, not taking them lightly, obviously, other people, you know, you see on the night, I won't be taking them lightly. Rich, just on that point of spend, as Liam said, you're going to be fighting Callum Bendel, 
no way he's going to take a fight with Smith. He, you know, he's got to basically going to protect that title now. Yeah, of course. Um, see his days out. Or? Yeah, obviously nothing to confirm yet, but it's a fight that we're, we really want to make. Um, so what happened this year, but early next year, I'm uh, trying to get ball out of the advantage. But here, but that's it's a great fashion show. So, so let's wait to see what happens next year. Just on the show, is there any reason why it wasn't stayed in Liverpool? Just a case of venues not being yeah, available? Yeah, venues playing BT. Um, so, been, as we always get a good crowd there, so it's going to be a great night there. Of course, Steve, Steve is on the bit as well, undefeated. Undefeated dead away for all night, uh, stopped him off playing. Steve's next. Is that a bit of a headache for you, Rich? Because, uh, again, like but like, like Solomon, Steve's as yet all matched, are you guys already having problems getting them matched up because he's knocking the fellas out? Or? Yeah, they're looking abroad, uh, the domestics want to fight him, so yeah. <laughs> get him to see yeah. yeah. uh, But no, he's a sensational talent, so deep power match matchmaker, I'm sure he's going to work out with him, but he's, he's doing business yeah. in the ring. Yeah, Steve said now, um, Tony, Tony Adams for the boxing here, and I was matched with him a few weeks ago, and then he pulled out, said he couldn't get off weight, but he phoned me up yesterday and said he could stay up on the night. So it looks like it could be sort of Kevin Birmingham, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Now on to Mr. Baloo. Uh, Unfeated like heavyweight talent. Uh, of course, Nathan Cleverly is the, the main event there, but of course, uh, down the line, it's, it could be a great fight between uh, Tony and Nathan Cleverly. Uh, so that's another, another good fight in the pipeline. Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen at the end of the day as long as he keeps winning and I keep winning. It's going to happen at some point, you know. It's just business, that's the way it's going to be, but I don't mind who it is, I don't care who will fight. I leave it to Sports Network and Dean to the matchmaker, Frank to the promoter. You know, everyone's got a job in this business, and if I do my job and they do their job, then everything should go to plan. What do you make at the top of the road fight, Tom? Uh, by all accounts, you know, I think it should be a nice, easy stroll for, for Claude Lee, so, you know, it shouldn't be a problem for him. I don't see where this guy imposes any problems. He's short, he's small. Doesn't seem to pack a big punch and it's got this record but it's, it's against nobody's at the end of the day and he's really boxed no one so I think the kid's going to get a big shot when cleverly starts to say because he's very tall for the weight and this kid's a friend so far I think he's 5 foot 8 or 5 foot 9 so there's no hope in hell I don't think so. Were you impressed with cleverly's performance against Loki? Yeah I was impressed to be honest I thought he was going <coughs> to die a bit late in the later rounds but he didn't he came on strong so that was quite impressive. Uh, and Oki, as usual, soaks everything up and keeps coming, but it's already you now cleverly throws tons of punches. Oki's not a big puncher and there wasn't really much coming back at him, but he's still done great and, you know, I think he, expe he, uh, he expected everyone's expectations, so he done well. He, he won the title and got a unanimous decision, so that's all that matters, I think.